and welcome to Eve's Garden Handmade Soaps. I'm Ioni and I'm going to be making some soap today and thought I'd bring you along on the journey. I'm going to be making a pear soap and it's going to be called Winter Pear. It's the end of summer now and I anticipate winter starting up here in the Pacific Northwest pretty quickly. So I'm going to make some winter pear soap because pear is so wonderful of a scent and be great for winter time. So I'm adding my uh, lye solution to my oils. The lye solution also has milk in it. I love using milk in my recipes. It just adds such a creamy lather and milk is wonderful for your skin as well. My oils today are coconut, palm, olive, canola, castor, sweet almond, and mango butter. And I'm just going to fast forward this now through the mixing up and portioning out uh, some colors. I'm going to be doing a drop swirl today and that should be a lot of fun. portions here I'm going to be coloring them and I'm just going to do a couple greens because I'm going to stick with the pear colors and the first one's going to be a dark green which I'm going to be adding chrome green oxide and a little ultramarine blue and probably some uh, black oxide as well to take it down really dark it's going to be the the darkest color in the soap. lighter green. I'm using Fizzy Lemonade and Neon Blue Raspberry. Maybe a little chrome green in here too. Want to get that nice bright green pear color. Pear. 
And now our base color is going to be white, so I'm adding some titanium dioxide for that. I've pre-measured it so that there's one eighth teaspoon for every three ounces of soap. And if I keep to that uh, ratio, I'm usually pretty good for not getting glycerin rivers. If I go over that, I need to refrigerate the soap. Now I want these add a medium trace. They're not even quite traced yet. I'm going to add the fragrance oil now and see how they do. This fragrance oil usually does not accelerate though. Oh, this smells so good. I, this is one, oh, I'm not going to say it. Every time I smell a fragrance, it's my favorite scent. <laughs> but this is one of the ones that I've made over and over and over. And I'm not the only one who loves it. The soaps have all traced just by sitting here. So I'm going to get the mold over now and we're going to start to mold the soap. Using a tall skinny mold and that's why I'm using these uh, spouted uh, measuring cups this time because this is a really very deep mold. Okay, I'm going to pour in the white first. Probably about two inches of it. And then I'm going to start pouring, uh, dropping in the colors. I'm going to start with the dark green. And the gold. And the light green too. Then I'm going to drop in some more white.
the top I'm going to uh, just spoon some little globs of color here and there I have all the little dollops I want now and now I'm just gonna kind of make a little line in between them so they look like a little pair <laughs> and this is gonna be tedious to watch so I'm just gonna do this and bring you back when when I'm done and show you what it looks like I messed up on a few of them but I think when the bars are cut it's going to be perfectly all right. So that's the top of the soap. I'm not putting glitter on. I think guys might really like this soap as well as the gals. So thank you for joining me for this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!